stage one of the New Zealand Cycle Classic was a five kilometre time trial around John F. Kennedy Drive in the city of Palmerston North. The Avanti team arrived expecting big things today, and as the riders got themselves set up on the wind trainers and the mechanics tuned the bikes, it was New Zealand time trial champion Taylor Gunman looking relaxed but feeling the pressure as one of the pre-race favourites. But it was Gunman's teammate Brenton Jones who set the early pace with a time of 6 minutes and 17 seconds, it was pretty hot and certainly the time to beat. As Taylor Gunman warmed up on the wind trainer getting ready for his turn to roll down the starting ramp, the pressure was on as it was his teammates still in the lead with that time of 6 minutes and 17 seconds. Aaron Donnelly was going to be the next rider off the wind trainer and onto the starting ramp and he was absolutely flying out there on the course recording a time of 6 minutes and 9 with only a handful of riders left and Jones sitting at the top of the leaderboard it was teammate Tyler Gunman, the national time trial champion of New Zealand that was on the starting ramp. Gunman knew what was in front of him and the time to beat but today wasn't to be his day. He only managed 6 minutes and 26 seconds for a solid 9th place and the winning time went to budget forklifts Michael Vink who rode an outstanding 6 minutes and 13 seconds to claim the tour's first yellow jersey.